As you've noticed during the pandemic, broadcast crews of all sports have been working remotely. It's a challenge calling a game from hundreds, if not thousands of miles away. But the Panthers crew has made this transition look pretty seamless. We are in our South Florida studios bringing it to you along with Randy Moeller. I'm Steve Goldstein. When the season started, the Panthers broadcast team was actually calling road games from their home arena, the BB&T Center but have since transitioned to their Fort Lauderdale studios. Everything from the control room and production staff to the guys calling the games. Well, I think there's two big differences. Number one, just the overall juice and adrenaline you know, rush that, that, that you get. That's where the professionalism comes in. You gotta be able to do your job. Doesn't matter if you're doing it in a shoebox or you're doing it in front of uh, 20,000 screaming fans. Number two, just the way you can see the game because when we're live at the game, you know, I could see the whole ice. Marchman to the net, the shot, he scores! Live action and stats are now squeezed into one monitor with multiple camera angles. So Goldie and Randy, now separated by plexiglass, have to lean on producers for what they can't see. Show Barkoff, let's do Barkoff. Yeah, yeah. The change has had some upsides for color analyst Randy Moeller. I have a fear of heights. There are some buildings in the National Hockey League that are so steep that you're looking straight down onto the ice yeah. that I'm uncomfortable. So a lot of times I just turn and I do my work off of a monitor. Wow. I don't even look at the ice. What this broadcast duo has that others don't is nearly 25 years of friendship. But you got to do something. Show that pass early on against the very desperate. Net. So it may sound like a chaotic booth is actually just another day at the office. We keep Randy Moeller in the penalty box. Um, we've got the glass up here. He gets very fired up during the games, may not like something I say. This way I can't catch an inadvertent or usually an intentional elbow. I'm always in the penalty box and, and that. I think he turns me down during the games because uh, I do get a little excited and a little emotional and that. It's an emotional sport. It's a fast sport. And we have to relay that to the fans. And I, I, I hope that we're doing that on, on a nightly basis. Well, you saw him calling games from those Fox Sports studios in Fort Lauderdale. Last night, he was at the bb &T Center. Steve, Goldie Goldstein joined the show, as he always does, here on a Sunday night. Goldie, I know comebacks are fun, but winning in a blowout is even better. What sparked that second period last night for the Cats? You know, I didn't know what to do on the air last night, Mike, in the third period when they got a three-goal lead with eight minutes left. I said, hey, where's the nail-biting time in the edge of your seat? Uh, you know, this team has done it all year. They've, they, they've got a hunger. They've got a desire. They've got talent. They've got speed, and they've got the belief. So when Sergei Bobrovsky made all those saves early in the game, uh, the fact they were down one nothing really isn't a deterrent. Anthony Duclair was back in the lineup. He went on the top line with Barkov and Berhage and away they went to their 18th win of the season. Yeah, they really leaned on that speed there, but they've been leaning on Sergei Bobrovsky this last week or two. Goldie, I got to ask, is Bob officially back? I would say yes, Mike. And, you know, last night he was great. He made a couple of really good saves on two of the best scorers in the NHL, Patrick Kane and Alex Debrinkit. He's now won five in a row. He's 11-2-2 two two on the season. So whatever he did, remember when Chris Drieger started those five out of six games? Uh, Bobrovsky always works hard. He's the first guy on the ice in practice. Whatever he did, he's on top of his game now, and he's really playing like the Vezina Trophy winner that he was in Columbus. All right, the Cats are now 1-0 and with Dolphins head coach Brian Flores in the building this season. <laughs> Goldie, as always, thank you for joining us. We will see you next week. Always great to see Coach Flo in the cold BB&T Center. That's right. <laughs>